2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. We're glad to have you with us as we kick off our coverage of this event. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, what's it like to compete in this nerve-wracking affair? Luke, all the players in this field want one thing and one thing only, and that is their Corn Ferry Tour card. It's a massive accomplishment. Let's see how this all shakes out. The top 50 on the leaderboard will get their card. Well, I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. This one might roll into the rough. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Well, guys, the ball ended up getting down into that rough pretty good. They're going to have to do a lot of work to get it out of this first cut. Going with the eight iron here. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. See, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Four feet to the cup. Good putt, that. It's currently tied for four. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Yep, that'll work. That's fine. Second shot on the second. The interesting choice of the driver here. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Looking like 32 feet or so to the cup.
Oh, a little bit of a rush of blood by the looks of it. Putting for birdie. Hey, nice looking line. And that will drop in for birdie. Currently one under for the round. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. Teeing off here at the third hole. Well, let's see if they can roll off that birdie at the last. Lovely momentum here. Going with the five wood. Well, that was pure. Sixteen feet to the cup. He's up, Tiger. Par putt coming up here. That's well hold. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Yep, I don't blame you. I'd want to take another look at that one as well. around 180 yards out. Going with the five iron here. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, it looks like this is about 21 feet.
Not sure how that putt came up, Shy. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Good looking putt. And in it goes for the par. He's currently tied for first. Teeing off here at the fifth. That's not what they hoped for. I'm definite about that. This shot from the first cut of rough. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Yeah, that one will play. Well, Rich, think they can make this one? Look, I got to say, I'm really not liking their chances here, but you never know. Stranger things have happened. Just missed. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. He's currently in a share of top spot. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. And after that part, they're looking for something good here. Wow, that was just striped. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Going with the hybrid. Needs this one to kick right. That's a great shot into birdie range here at the sixth. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. A well holds. He'll take the birdie. And that will take him to two under. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe?
<laughs> that was pummeled. Great drive. Second shot here on the seventh. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. And here we are with the third shot. Not bad. This one's for Birdie. That's half a chance of being hold this one. And that puck will drop and he'll extend his lead. I like it. Two in a row. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Nicely done. Second shot here on the eighth. This looks to be heading to the green. Fairways and greens. Easy game, isn't it? The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Leading by three strokes now. Coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling.
opting for the five wood. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Yeah, not a bad shot, that one. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. That's about a 24-foot putt, I'd say. Was on a good line. Eleven feet to the cup. Get excited. This could go in. And down she goes. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Well, right now they should be pleased. They're playing awfully well. They've put themselves in good position to get their Corn Ferry Tour card. But let's face it, nine holes left. Pressure packed, to say the least. This one might just sneak off the fairway. Down the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. He's going to have to go down after this one, try and dig it out as best he can and hope for the best. A quality shot that outside chance here for the birdie john have you got a read on this one this has got to be a strong 40 feet to the to the cup from here yeah, a bit long on that one nine feet to the cup Gallant attempt. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. A good stroke. And that's for a bogey. Currently in first position. here at the 11th. That a boy, good shot. Second shot here on the 11th. The interesting choice of the driver here. Uh, 
That's a good looking shot there. Putting for Eagle here. Okay, steady now. Oh, that would be an outstanding to make the eagle. And they'll tap this in for birdie. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. And that will take him to four under. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. That's heading for the fairway. Second shot here on the 12th. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Birdie at the last. This for another. Big chance here. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. And that will take him to five under. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. Still in the lead now after that hole. It's time to begin this powerful hole. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. <laughs> Playing from around 110 yards out.
A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here on the 13th. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Ooh, nice line. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will take him to six under. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Going with a three wood here. Yeah, not a bad effort that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. We're lining up the birdie putt here. opportunity to make their par and the putt drops and we're moving on leading by six strokes after that one you've arrived at a par four That one's right out of the top drawer. Playing from around 190 yards out. Looks like they've got the five wood. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Steady on. Just three feet to the cup. And with that putt, now it's six under with a few to play. And nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. He's currently sitting in first place. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Teeing off here on the 16th hole.
Good looking shot this. Second shot here on the 16th. shot by our leader this one just outside seven feet to the hole oh so close putting for par and well hold let's move on Leader is enjoying a six stroke advantage. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Looks like a lovely little draw there. Yeah. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. by the hole five feet coming up to the cup oh what a stroke well hold and still in top spot after that hole keep it going What a lovely position to be in, holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. Oh, just absolutely abused the golf ball there with that shot. Second shot here at the 18th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Oh, absolutely flushed. Getting ready to play their third.
that one just missed the hole. And this putt for the tournament. What an effort that is, winning Q School and what's a pressure pack to it. Yes, hats off, but listen, I, it really doesn't matter, Luke. You finish first or you finish 25th, you still get your tour card. You still have an amazing opportunity next year. Yes, winning it does, does get you into a few more events at the beginning of the year, but you better play your way into the next part of the year because of the reshuffle. Hats off to the winner, but hats off to all the players getting through. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elvey and Rich P, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow.